75 of a possible 75. Doesn't get better than that if you're Russia. Final two weight classes of this Saturday night session, sixth day of the European Wrestling Championships alongside Eric Olenowski, Sean Kinney, our fantastic crew from Bucharest, Romania. Good looks inside the Salapoli Valent Arena where it has been rocking throughout the course of the week. We started with the men's freestyle. The women put on a show the last couple of days, and now tonight, Greco-Roman finals will cap it off tomorrow night with the finals in the final five weight classes. Bronze medal, Lithuania, Hungary. 24-year-old Lithuanian, Evidius Stankovicius, making his first senior European championship. He's up against Eric Silvaski of Hungary, Hungary's U23 world champion. All blocking. Talked about Hungary and their strength throughout the years, Eric, in the sport of Greco-Roman. That's where they have really built their trademark. That's their copyrighted sport back in their country. And the Hungarians uh, proud of that tradition in Greco-Roman. Yeah, that is their strength. And we actually had an opportunity to see it at the highest level in Hungary last year at the Budapest World Championships. And I'd say that's one of the most exciting atmospheres I've been a part of in Hungary, watching Greco-Roman wrestling in Europe, of course, the favorite continent for Greco-Roman wrestling. And that's why you're seeing the European Championships close out with their favorite style. Scoring opportunity here for Sivalasi, but look at the uh, nimbleness there from Stankovicius. Able to spin out of harm's way. Usually Hungary finishes those up for two or four. I mean, you go through the tradition of Hungary and the show that Victor Lorenz put on at Budapest, some of those other Hungarians in the Greco-Roman division. We were joking last night at dinner about the women's freestyle champion and Barca, how you can just tell watching her, she has so much of the Greco-Roman, that upper half so strong, out-muscling, out-powering her opponent in her successful run to the European title over the past couple of days. It's just, that's, that's their strength, without a doubt. They don't deny it. And speaking of strengths, from Hungary at this weight. They have one of the best wrestlers in the world, and you touched on Victor Lorenz. This year, there has been two Greco-Roman ranking series events, the Zagreb Open in Croatia, he won. And then he went to the Hungarian Grand Prix in Hungary, and he won that as well. Stankovic is gonna pick up a reversal there for one point, but back to my point. He comes into these champion, or he, Silvassi takes his spot at these championships, and had Lorenz come into these championships, it would have propelled him to possibly a second ranking. Currently, he's ranked number three in the world with 36 no ranking series points. So Silvassi stepping in for third ranked Victor Lorenz and doing a good job here as he's wrestling in the bronze medal bout. Lorenz a couple of world bronze medals. He was a fifth place finisher in the Olympics in 2016. How beneficial for Zovasi to have a guy like that to no finger, bang open. heads with each and every day and then talk to him, learn from him as he comes up through the ranks and he is certainly following that type of successful pattern. U23 world no champion. Tied up with one with Stankovicius, the 24-year-old from Lithuania, in that green singlet. Looking for his first medal in competition, his first senior medal, that is. He's coming off a number of placings in the lower levels. This right. is his first senior European championship, and I'd say so far so good. 1-1 one, one. So they go into the uh, period break. Both wrestlers rehydrating, getting ready for the final three minutes. And how about this? Uh, Greco, of course, we saw at the World Championships in Budapest, Peter Boxy win the 82 kilogram world title. And I had an opportunity to speak with him, get a couple of photos of him earlier today with our very own Max Rose Fine. 
But Peter Boxy, the 82 kilo reigning world champion, has since retired. So I spoke with him about retiring on top, and he said looking forward to 2020, it's just impossible. He's 35 years old, and to go up from 82 to 87, he said he can't Back compete here, with the youth uh, like Silvasi and, up blue. and Victor Lorenz. So he decided to retire. He said, what better time to retire than after winning a world title in your own country? Yeah, that's the way to go out on style. And how many athletes have that chance not only to win a world, but to do it in your backyard like he did? And now that I take a look over to the corner, you can see him. He's the second coach, so he is behind Hungary's coach. So he's a secondary coach back there. And he is on the Hungarian coaching staff. So he said, I'm retiring from wrestling, but I still will continue to coach. And as I was talking to him, two fans came up and interrupted our conversation and handed me their phones and said, can you take a picture? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about what we were talking. Uh, yeah, the, the Greco-Roman wrestlers in Hungary are, are stars. Yes. I mean, when they go in the streets, that that those are the, the people that get the attention. And we saw that firsthand in Budapest. And they are put onto a ped pedestal and it, it's a great sight see why so many young Hungarians want to represent their country in this style of wrestling. And as we departed Hungary, Open I actually have a couple of newspapers hanging up in my office back home with Peter Boxy on the front page of the newspapers as we were leaving Hungary. I picked up a couple of them just because I had taken a picture with him after his world title run. So I have the picture and, in, and the paper next to each other. But you're right, they are stars. Silvassi with a two to one lead, second period, minute 19 to go. Neither wrestler has been able to get any type of offense started, although we've seen a couple of locked hands on some underhooks, but both times the Lithuanian Stankovicius has been able to get out. Strong, powerful looking 87 kilo wrestler is Evadias Stankovicius. Head up, Luke. Powerful name. Head up, Lou. Running out of time in this bronze medal match, Stankovicius. No blocking, Red. And Zilvasi in a tight one. Either wrestler has been able to find a two or better. A couple of passivities, the difference, and this one is going to end in a 2-1 victory and a bronze medal for Hungary's Eric Zilvasi. Up, Blue. The Hungarians do it again in Greco-Roman European Championships, a bronze medal for Silvassi. U23 World Championship. And now he adds a senior bronze medal at these European Championships.